Hi, Jimmy. I'm Phil Allen from Front Stretch. Obviously, we have an incredible news today that you're going to be going to Le Mans for the very first time. Um, when this opportunity first came about for you, um, just what was going through your mind at that point? Making sure that my calendar was clear so that I could accept and, and be in France uh, for the, the biggest, you know, the biggest sports car race in the world. Um, I've competed in the Daytona uh, Rolex 24 many times. I truly enjoyed the experience. Um, and I know how special this is, but in the back of my mind, I've always wanted to go to Le Mans and experience what that's about. So uh, now I finally get to do it. It's so nice to have our driver lineup announced so that we can really put a lot of time and energy into promoting this, this uh, opportunity that we all have and, uh, and excited to get there. All right, and um, obviously there's been a lot of testing. Uh, you've, I believe, had a few go around with the, with the Garage 56 car. Uh, just uh, what do you think of it so far? That's a, it's a great car. I feel we're, we're very comfortable with the reliability of the car, uh, which is kind of the first hurdle to clear. And now it's really about the performance side and squeaking all that we can out from a uh, you know, lap time standpoint. And excited to test. We'll be uh, sticking around in Daytona for a couple of days after the Rolex 24, working through that, and then have an aggressive testing schedule uh, before we get to Le Mans. Uh, at least testing once a month, really trying to drill down on the performance side of this car. Yeah, my understanding is it's primarily been testing at Sebring, uh, I guess, uh, Carolina Motorsports Park, Kershaw. Kershaw, VIR. I think that's been the three test sessions so far. Uh -huh. Obviously, Sebring is a critical choice since it's so bumpy, the test has suspension stuff, VIR is a very quick force. Um, they didn't really get into the whole performance stuff in the press conference, but um, usually they have performance windows for Garage 56 cars on the lines. Uh, what kind of pace has, has the ACO indicated the kind of pace that they want to see these cars? I'm sure they have. Where I've been involved and what I've been able to, to watch, um, we haven't really been focused on a lap time. We've just been worried about getting the car going. And, and I sense that whatever lap time window, performance window they're looking for, the car is in it. Um, we're racers and we still want to make it faster. So I see the Hendrick Engineering Group trying to work on mechanical grip, aero balance, um, you know, all those key aspects to make it go. Um, but I don't know the intimate details of any performance windows. Um, in between um, now and the actual test day at Le Mans, I believe there's only one cup race on a road course being towed on March. Um, are you planning on competing in that event, the 84? Yeah, I'm looking at it. I've, I've always wanted to race the Circuit of Americas. But um, just haven't had a chance to. I thought IndyCar might take me there, but the two years I was in IndyCar, they did, they didn't go. Um, so it's it's on my my list, and we're still trying to work through opportunities with our partners, and also making sure that it doesn't take away from the uh, 42 car or the 43 car. Um, you know, we're we're a small team, we're a young team, we're growing, and every time we take my car to the track, uh, it can't be at the detriment of the other two legacy MC cars. Uh -huh. Now. Um Basically, with your teammates, you have Mike Rappenfeller and Jensen Button. Both of your teammates have experience at Mons, which is going to help. In the case of Mike, he's got 10 stars, which has ranged everything from the triumph to John Deere getting hit. I mean, just what kind of, how can they help you adjust to the 8.467 mile road course? Yeah, they're both critical, um, not only to help me as a driver, but really if you think about it, Rocky's involvement with the program and being the first one to drive the car at BIR um, and really work through all of this. He's, he's helping the team understand um, the big picture of what needs to happen, not only from the driver's standpoint, but uh, crew, car, logistics. Um, I think Chad has been uh, himself to witness it, but Rocky's the only one um, for the longest time in our group that's, that's raced it. Now Jensen can bring in that experience as well, so uh, we'll be leaning on those two hard. Okay. Jordan Taylor is apparently a driver coach for the program. Uh, what does Jordan bring? Jordan ultimately will be the backup driver if, uh, if there's an injury or issue or illness. Um, the way that Lamar runs their program, there's only three drivers and not a fourth. Uh, we'd love to have Jordan involved. Um, and, and who knows, maybe one of us isn't feeling great and uh, he'll get the call up. All right, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Driver number 38 Ford for Front Row Motorsports. Be sure to subscribe to Front Stretch on YouTube.